The cement industry is responsible for between 6 and 8 percent of global carbon dioxide emissions. How can we improve the situation? Researchers have designed and built, here at the cement factory in Belgium, an experimental plant to try and find answers to that question. The factory covers some 70 hectares and employs around 180 workers. Every year it produces an estimated 1.4 million tonnes of 15 different varieties of cement from a raw material, limestone. But this comes with an environmental cost. If we produce one tonne of cement, we generate 0.6 tonne of uh, CO2. And, and this CO2 is coming mainly from our raw materials. And therefore, we need to develop technologies to capture this uh, CO2 so that this CO2 is not uh, emitted to the uh, environment, not emitted to the air. In search for such technologies, the factory has teamed up with researchers from a European research project. The outcome is this 60-metre-high plant. A pilot reactor that's already able to absorb 5% of the factory's total CO2 emissions. This is a model of it. It shows that there's a, effectively just a great big metal tube that's heated on the outside at around 1,000 degrees. The material is dropped in at the top and it falls slowly down. As this material gets heated, it releases its CO2. And this pure CO2 can simply be captured at the top. Researchers say the technology requires minimal changes in the factory's conventional chain of cement production. It enables the capture of carbon dioxide without additional chemicals. But different challenges have to be addressed. The material has to be able to flow down the reactor. It falls down the reactor, but then at the bottom, um, it needs to be able to be conveyed into the other units on site. The other important technical parameters are ensuring that we get enough heat into the reactor and that we put it in in the right places. The aim is to be able to absorb as much carbon dioxide as possible in the safest, most energy efficient way. Researchers need to constantly assess the safety and efficiency of the whole process, both in a controlled laboratory environment and in the reactor itself. We take the powder before it goes in and measure the amount of CO2 that's in it. And then we measure the powder after passing through the reactor and measure that amount of CO2 in the powder. And the difference is the amount that we've captured. Researchers are now working to scale up the technology to capture 95% of the factory's global carbon dioxide emissions, with a view to develop other circular economy business models. Because we're expecting very pure CO2 to be captured with just some purification steps, it can be used in the food industry, it can be used for, for growing plants, it could be used for helping make new fuels. Uh, it could even be used for materials to, to help building products. Researchers believe that technology can contribute to reaching the target of an 80% reduction in carbon dioxide emissions in Europe by 2050.